You may be seated. At this time, I would like to welcome the family, the friends, also our teachers, guidance counselors, and special guests that are invited to celebrate this wonderful day of these young people's accomplishments. At this time, I'd like to introduce our guidance counselors who have put a tremendous amount of time into your child's education, and that is Ms. Sandy Hurst and Ms. Kimberly Rhymes. Also, it gives me much honor, I appreciate the opportunity to share this moment with you, but also you trust in your students to our school. And it's been an honor to share the time that we've had with them. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I would also like to thank this time, introduce Ms. Beth Leary, who is the assistant principal here that works on keeping me straight and make sure that I'm doing the right things. But I appreciate her support and her loyalty and also her hard work. At this time, Ms. Beth Leary. Good morning. What a wonderful occasion. Um, I would like to um, welcome some special guests with us today. We have Superintendent of Schools, Rick Serency. Um, our district graduation coach, Ms. Pamela Brown. And I see principal from E.H. Miller, Mr. Simons. I would also like to recognize the teachers at Jenkins who are in the room. Would you please stand? These ladies and gentlemen put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making, your child, making sure your child made it through. So we really appreciate their dedication and loyalty to the school as a whole and to students individually. And next, I would like for the parents to stand. If you're a parent of one of our students, please stand. As a parent, Myself being a parent, I know it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of time on your knees praying, a lot of time worrying, and motivating and encouraging to get our children um, to be successful and to get them to this point. So we thank you so much for all that you've done. Thank you for entrusting your children to us. It has been a privilege. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dathan Guthrie, who's going to lead us in the pledge to the flag. And then after following him, remain standing, Sean Wilkinson will be playing the national anthem. And following him will be Dante Wilkerson with the invocation. May you please stand up, remove your hats, and salute and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to assemble here today. Thank you for the parents, the teachers, and most of all our classmates, Lord. Thank you most of all for the teachers who allow us to have this ceremony, Lord. Lord, we pray for your hands of protection, Lord, over the summer that no Putnam County child will get hurt, harm, or danger, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, you may be seated. I would like to take just a few minutes to recognize some of the awards that these students have had over this past year. Our reception of the 2018 Robert Jenkins Award goes to Dathan Guthrie. Please stand. Okay. Also, this, this year's group hosted the Putman County version of the 10th Annual uh, state championship here uh, for our student. We had over 200 kids participate that in the archery program. The boys and girls basketball team was undefeated the 2017-2018 year. Our AG, our FFA, raised over $2,400 for the March of Dimes that goes to local, uh, local kids in the, within this community that have birth issues. Also, the FFA placed third in districts in the open and closing procedures and the creed and public speaking. Way to go, class. When I was introducing our guest, I did not see um, assistant principal from Palatka High, um, Mr. Jerome Wilkerson. It's my honor to introduce to you two young adults who are alum of Jenkins Middle School. They came through these doors, they walked these halls, they took classes with a lot of the teachers that are sitting over here. And tomorrow, they will be graduating as honor graduates from Palatka High. Please give a warm welcome to Kelsey Smiley and Austin Keel. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure today to speak to you all as a former Jenkins Middle School student. Before we begin, we would like to congratulate the class of 2022 on this milestone. You are now closing the door to the beginning half of your academic career and opening another to a variety of opportunities. I am Kelsey Smiley. And I am, a, and I am Austin Keel. And we are here to give you a bit of insight on what to expect these next four years. I can recall being in your very shoes back in 2014. The excitement to finally move on to something bigger, but, the also, but also the anxiety of what to expect. All the emotions were present that day because I never had anyone really tell me what I was in for. So today, I'd like to give each of you some advice, and I really hope you digest this fully, what I'm about to tell you, because it will shape your high school experience. Always keep your eye on the end goal. There are gonna be times that you are being distracted by sports, clubs, friends, events, and other extracurricular activities. Make sure you manage your time wisely and get your schoolwork done. Biggest mistake a high school student can make is choosing to delay their work process or opting out of extra study time to hang out with friends. You will have plenty of time for friends, trust me. If you make a mistake in class, fix it right away. Do not let your mistakes multiply because digging an academic hole is very hard to fill in later. You do not want to spend time trying to repair the damage done in your freshman year because you will always be trying to play catch up. Put your grades first, surround yourself with individuals who contribute to and support your success. When your friends have the same goals as you and focus on their academics, they will always keep you on the straight and narrow. There are plenty of opportunities that will be within your arm's length. Without overwhelming yourself, Try to do as much as possible. Don't sit out. Try out a club. Go to a home game. Participate in the pep rallies. That is where you will create the fondest memories. Trying new things will help you find your passion, explore, develop, and enjoy every minute of it. 
Stepping out of your comfort zone will probably be one of the hardest things we all have to do. And we can promise you, though, that experience in the high school at its fullest, meeting new people, and making memories is worth going beyond your comfort zone a million times. I'm going to read you a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and I quote, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment, end quote. It is vital to know who you are. You must understand your worth. You'll be faced with bad days, failures, trials, and tribulations. You'll fall, and sometimes things will break you, and that is just life. It is how you choose to change a situation and respond that defines who you are. Remember, fall down nine times and get up ten. Now here is some serious advice that I'd like to give to you. Most plans that you have set right now will most likely not go the way that you had imagined them. Those friends that you believe that you'll have forever may not always be there. Truth is, high school is where we all do our maturing, for the most part. Most friends grow apart. Some friends just aren't as true as you think they are, and some just move away. Now, I'm not saying this is every case, but I want you all to know that losing friends is just a part of life just like broken plans are. You may have a certain idea in your head of how you want high school to go, and I can almost guarantee you that it will go the complete opposite. There are going to be many roadblocks, many detours, and many turnarounds. Learn to roll with the punches. I got to where I am today with a strong will to prevail, support from friends, family, teachers, and counselors. When you need help, please reach out. Talk to your teachers, make appointments with your guidance counselors, and discuss issues and reach out to your friends. You are never alone and there is always someone willing to help you. Soon to be ninth graders, take this to your heart and learn from me what high school will not, will not tell you. There will always be another chance, another spotlight, another job offer, opportunity, and another chance to shine. If you can't find one, make your own. When there is something that you really want, you have to take the, the initiative and time to go out and get it. Live up to your own standards. Spend time creating for yourself and not competing with others. And that is where happiness and ultimately success lies. Continue to work on the best version of yourself. And high school will teach you a lot about who you are, even things you might not have known before. I think that I'm supposed to tell you that the next 1,470 days will be the best days of your life, but here's why I won't. There is so much more to life than high school. There is a reason that you leave high school between 17 and 18 years old. There's so many important and fulfilling things to do afterwards. Within so many years to follow graduation, it would be a shame that your best years were so early and so few. High school is a time for growth, so learn, make mistakes, stumble, and get back up. And remember that this is only the beginning. Take these words with you as you leave today and begin a new journey. Fear nothing. Value every moment you have. Life is a gift, and never forget to express gratitude. I wish each of you the best of luck in all your endeavors. You will be in Austin and I's shoes before you know it. I know I would like to be a freshman again. So class of 2022, have fun. I look forward to seeing what you all achieve. So I'd say thank you for your time. Congratulations. Kelsey and I will, will always be Eagles at heart. Charlie Mack. Jade Mack. Delia Marshall. Cameron Martin. Wyatt Marks. Jayajane McDonald. Tyler McDonald. Ava McKinley. Wyatt Metters. Adaris Medina. Treasure Mitchell. Yes, 
Yulise Mary Montserrat Delgado. Cheyenne Morrison. Landon Morse. Peyton Mullins. Aaliyah Nelson. Adai Ojita Melendez. Luke Orr. Leroy Owens. Shane Parrish. Brenna Palisier. Anthony Pena. Jamari Perry. Mia Perry. Tayana Perry. Tequesia Pittman. Maggie Poole. Hunter Pupor. Emily Pratt. Chanel Randolph. Jevin Ray. Mackenzie Revels. Chris Ricks. Michaela Ricks. Reagan Rigsby. Juan Rodriguez. Parker Clayton Rucker. <laughs> Olivia Ruff. Jose Ruiz. Emily Saldana Barbosa. Calvin Sanchez Vargas. Abigail Sansevieri. Antoine Session. Luke Sheffield. Bill Catherine Sherman Miller. Jacquez Shorter. Tamiria Simon. Emily Simpson. Lamontes Slocum. Edward Smith, Jr. Jonathan Smith. Angel Smock. Kylie Stanley. Stephen Sullivan.
Audrey Sweat. Jaden Sweat. Blake Simons. Reese Simons. Taylor Thompson. Asia Toby. Markayla Walker. Kaya Walters. Jamarcus Ware. Okay. Leslie Waring. Daviana Washington. Treasure Washington. Brantley Waters. Caleb Waters. Trinity Watson. Zaya Weaver. Clara White. Jayshon White. Huh? Don't? Okay. <laughs> Reginald Wiggins. Dante Wilkerson. John Wilkerson. Laney Wilkinson. Jordan Williams. <laughs> Shabria Williams. Demaya Woods. Robert Worsham. Jasmine Dambeck. Treasure Millage. Letrez Smith. Destiny Mack. Steven Salek. <laughs> Mason Stark. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez. Hannah Stewart. Is that right? Kiwan Nelson. And Talon White. Okay, at this time, I would like to congratulate the new ninth grade class of Black High School right there. 